Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back. Let's do another video of debunking MMT. We're going to start at the beginning. Okay. What value is money? And uh, MMT says, well, you know, it's taxes of value money. It's taxes that drive money. That's wrong. Well, we'll explore why that's wrong. So let's listen to what uh, Randall Ray, you know, so much has, has, has changed since uh, I created uh, Pure MMT back in the day. And I was like, this is wrong. That's wrong. That's not the way it works. This isn't a, I never thought in a million years that uh, reality would just debunk MMT in the way it has. Uh, I just never thought that someone would be stupid enough like Erdogan to go MMT and say, oh, no, we're going to lower interest rates, even though we have too many Turkish lira that nobody wants. I have an inflation problem. And, oh, by the way, I'm going to lower interest rates and make it cheaper for people to short my currency, uh, to give less money to investors uh, to buy my Turkish lira. And, uh, you know, I'm going to lower in interest rates and uh, inflation is going to go away. And then you have Mosler coming along. Oh, you know, Erdogan has it right, right? MMT, oh, yeah, they're doing it the right way. You know you know what the, the currency was back then? It was five Turkish lira to buy one dollar. You know what inflation was? 20%. You know what it is today? 23.65 Turkish lira to buy one dollar. You know where inflation went? From 20% to 86. Okay? It's come down since, mostly because... They went out, borrowed some foreign reserves, defended the currency, tried to hold it there for a while. Of course, the currency is going to, you know, stabilize when you do that. Problem is, you don't have infinite amount of reserves to do that. So what happened? Well, naturally, currency started to explode again. What do you think is going to happen to inflation? It's going to explode again. <laughs> so it's going to go right back up. So anyway, uh, this is just one example. Um... That I I, uh, I was saying years ago. Uh, so anyway, let's listen to what Randall Ray has to say, and we'll we'll talk about it. So separate currencies is not a coincidence. It's tied up with sovereign power, political independence, and fiscal authority. As a shorthand, what we say is taxes drive money. There you go. <laughs> taxes drive money. No, they don't. If you and I sat on their couches and everybody sat on their couches and the government simply just printed money, handed it out, taxed a portion of it back, the currency would not have value. It wouldn't. I don't think that's very hard to convince anybody of. Yet MMT uh, says that that's the way it works. That's what gives value to a currency. Uh, we don't live in the Soviet Union, okay? These people are Soviet economists. They're still clinging on to that fucking, uh, you know, Soviet idea that the government does everything. It doesn't, right? The government is going to give you uh, shelter. The government is going to give you a job. The government is going to give you food. The government is going to, the government, the government, the government. This is the way they think, okay? And that's why, to them, everything is based around the government. Newsflash, government has nothing to give you. Okay? It's got nothing to give you. All right? Um, let's listen to what else he has to say. Taxes are denominated in the state's unit of account. The state spends its currency into existence. Lie. Lie, lie, lie. And there goes the whole entire MMT description. Why is that a lie? All right. Number one, what the state determines to be the unit of measure is irrelevant when it comes to the government spending first. Okay? Irrelevant. Those are not the same thing. And that's why he says it the way he does. He clumps them together. And says, well, you know, we, uh, we have determined that uh, the unit of measure is going to be the U.S. dollar in the United States. Therefore, the, gov the government spends first. Eh, wrong. Why? It is illegal, as per the Federal Reserve Act of 1913, 
for the Federal for the Federal Reserve Bank to fund government. And since the Federal Reserve cannot fund government spending, that means what? That the government can either tax or and or borrow before spending in the United States. Okay? The government cannot just willy-nilly go out and start printing up money and going out and spending it for good reason. That's why the system is designed the way it is, thankfully. Even though, <laughs> thankfully, because it, it would have been much, much worse by now. Not that it's doing great, but thankfully. Let's, let's be thankful for little things, all right? The government has to tax or borrow before spending. So how does it, how, how does it create money? Well, the way a anybody creates money, right? Every time you go and you use your credit card, you're creating money. You borrow for, for uh, furniture, you're creating money. Loans create deposits, okay? Loans create deposits. That's how money is created. You borrow for a home, loan creates a deposit. Businesses, right? State, local governments, they borrow, okay? Tax and borrow. They create money. Federal government, same thing. There's no difference between the way you create money and the way the federal government creates money. The fact that we pay our taxes in denominated dollars, which is the unit of measure we have chosen to use, is irrelevant. Irrelevant when it comes to government spending. Because the Federal Reserve Act of 1913, go and read it, says that it is illegal for the central bank to fund government. You must see the tax or borrow before spending. So the act of taxing the population does not drive money. Okay? We don't live in the Soviet Union where the government taxes us and we give them uh, uh, jobs and we give uh, houses and cars. And <laughs> if you behave, here's a lollipop for you and a pair of jeans. But MMTers want you to think like that. That's how they, because they want you to think it's the government that is going to give you uh, uh, value. It's going to give you prosperity. It's not. It's you. It's you going out, blood, sweat, tears, innovating, risk-taking. It is you that is creating value for the currency. But if the government goes out and keeps borrowing and borrowing and borrowing, creating money, creating money, creating money, and you end up like Venezuela, Zimbabwe, Argentina, Lebanon, Sri Lanka, <laughs> Turkey, right? Now we start blaming the private sector. The, this is the the real resources that they talk about so often. You see, MMT always claims that the cart is pulling the horse. It's always backwards. That's the way they operate. Okay? Oh, it's not the printing uh, problem. No, 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 it's not. It's the private sector. It's not, it's not working hard enough to keep up with the pace of, of dollars. Which means you are not going out and working enough. <laughs> yeah, they're actually blaming you, right? For not moving real resources. It's you, you're the problem. Okay, but they won't say that. They'll say, well, it's the corporations. It's the corporations. Here's another example that uh, taxes don't drive money. There's no income tax in uh, the Middle East. Go to Bahrain, go to Qatar, go to Kuwait. There's no income tax. How's the currency there? No problem. <laughs> Everybody uses it, right? Everybody uses the same unit of measure. Not a problem. You think Sri Lanka, you think uh, Turkey or Venezuela or Argentina have a taxing problem? What, they don't tax enough? Is that the problem? We should go out... <laughs> Do you think the FX market works like that? Hey, who's taxing more this week? 
Oh, it's Argentina. Hey, let's run out and go buy the Argentinian uh, currency. Let's, let's go out and do that. Let's go buy the Venezuela Boulevard. Yeah, let's do that. That's ridiculous. That's not the way the FX market works. Okay. So remember that. Remember when they say uh, that taxes are paid in a denomination of that currency means nothing. has nothing to do with whether it's legal for, for the United States to spend first, tax later. Cannot do it. It's illegal. Keep in mind that MMT will never blame printing as the problem. MMT is always going to blame real resources, meaning the private sector, for not keeping up with the pace of money printing. Okay? Cart pulls the horse. Okay? MMT is always going to drive you to government is going to give you a job. Government is going to give you a house. Government is going to educate you. Government is going to pay for your energy. Government, government, government. It's always government. When the government has nothing to give you. Keep in mind that the way the government creates money is the same way you create money. Loans create deposits. Every time you use your credit card, you create a deposit, right? That's how you purchase something. That's money creation. The vast majority of money has been the private sector. Has been. <laughs> the way we're going, it's, <laughs> it's going to be the public sector. But for now, it's the private sector. State, local, federal, they're all currency users. Irrelevant if the government has agreed to use the dollar as a unit of measure. It's not the same thing. So MMT, the description is blown out of the water by the Federal Reserve Act of 1913. Okay? It's not valid. The description is wrong. That's it. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. We'll come up with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.